Hi, I'm Bob Moffitt with the American Lung Association of Minnesota and this is our path to cleaner air. We call it the path to cleaner air because biofuels are an important way to get to cleaner air in Minnesota. You know, we've got some of the cleanest air in the country and we want to keep it that way. And one of the ways to do this is by supporting ED5 and biodiesel, two alternative fuels that you can buy here. This is a 2006 Chevy Monte Carlo SS, built to run on E85. All my life I've been involved in the environment and trying to help as much as I can. So when I got this idea, I wanted to teach the American public that it actually does work. Minnesota has more biofuel stations than anywhere else in the country, particularly E85. We've got more than 315 stations, up from International Falls down to Albert Lee. We've worked with the stations to try to cluster them all over so there is nowhere you can go in the state of Minnesota and not be able to fill your tank with E85 or biodiesel. And that's a really rare accomplishment and something we can all be really proud of. This represents the four tons of carbon dioxide prevented from entering the atmosphere from just one vehicle, just one car like this, using E85 instead of gasoline for one year. Four tons of greenhouse gases that are not going into our skies. Now we have 160,000 of these vehicles on the road right now. Imagine that, four tons for each vehicle prevented from entering our air. That's very significant. That's not small potatoes. This is really an important development in cleaner fuels. I'm Don Luaji, a farmer by Marshall, Minnesota. I'm part of the Biodiesel Council of Minnesota. And it's certainly exciting as a farmer to believe that you can burn fuel from the crop you raise, that you don't have to import it from another country. The United States government spends $330 billion a year defending oil countries, so isn't that subsidizing? Going back to the patriotic thing, yeah. I mean, we've got cornfields as far as you can see, and it's not, you know, the people get concerned about the corn, and we're not going to have enough corn because we're going to turn all of our corn crops into ethanol. Well, there's other ways that ethanol can be produced. Switchgrass. Uh, it's unbelievable, but that's two or three years off. The technology, uh, pioneers, Northrop King, are now genetically changing the corn because they can make it produce more ethanol. They weren't concerned about ethanol 20 years ago. Now they are. You know what they say about uh, thinking globally and acting locally? Well, this is it. You know, you can make a clean air choice. You can choose a better vehicle, a better fuel. We've got cleaner fuels. Let's use them, America. Come on. <laughs>